I don't know what happened to my phone, but my my like <laughs> inside of my ear feels funny as heck because of these headphones. So I turned the car on just to uh, warm it up so I can charge my phone. Don't lose those. Right, so I gotta put them back in, okay? It's gotta get washed or some Clorox bleach or something. Yeah, fucking sore. So I ran 10 miles, dude. What the heck? I should get out and stretch, I think. Just in case, so. 10 miles, bro. Took me an hour and 20 minutes. Oh man, she feels sore. My first time running 10 miles, my body feels crazy right now. This right side, how the left side, like between my calf and I guess like the ankle, the upper Achilles area. The left was hurting before, now the right is, it was hard to like put pressure on it at the end right now. But uh, nowadays is, today for what we're going through, if, now it's, now there's no, okay hold on. I was thinking about this when I ran. There has never been a better time to show your strength and your beauty and, and every power that you hold inside of you. Now is the time to show that better than ever you know your creativity your uniqueness you know the strength that you can push yourself further you know no trust in the world you know 10 miles and i made it hit back safe i didn't get hit by a car you know so i thank god you know a tree didn't fall on me you know my body was able to withstand it even though like i kind of pushed it to the level but see i love yourself man it's lunchtime I brought these chips. I thought about the Lay's. Oh, man. See how these taste. <coughs> okay. My mouth is sore. For some reason. Hold on. My face feels like I got sunburned. Right here. See, it's like irritated. I think the wind made my face dry. I put some Vaseline. You hear the wind? The beach is probably dangerous to drive right now. It's so fun to go to. Not the, not the beach, the, uh, oh, the mountains. Time to eat. Okay. Got some grapes. Awesome grapes. Take my shoes off. shoes man these things oh my goodness look at these 10 miles in these oh my goodness these are crazy 10 miles i'm proud of myself but i'm like thinking i'm a weirdo and i'm like i have to be insane to be doing this look at these shoes and i had got those from uh from ross years back
feels better with the Vaseline on. I'll throw some more next time I go. What's jacked up is that I set the bar. I set a bar for myself. Now, like, I'm afraid, like, I'm gonna keep trying to run 10 miles. So, I don't know. Let's see. Like I said, my leg was kind of hurting. It's hard to put pressure on my ankle. I will get this ugly pain, you know? Time to eat my sandwich before I eat all these chips. Put some chips in here. Oh, oh. Hi, Halloween. If you're watching, Daddy ran 10 miles. That's something you could do as a kid, you know? First, we'll start you off with the bike. So, got avocado, lettuce, um, I think mozzarella cheese, and just some, I guess, regular turkey, some sort of wheat bread or whole, whole grain bread. chips thank you God for food I mean we have to pray before I eat so. I'm gonna charge my phone, but it doesn't really work too well in the car. I post my times and like my, I guess you could call them laps or, I mean, no, I post my times of my miles and like how long I ran. I wonder if any like girl that likes to run is gonna see it and be like, oh wow. I'm sure there's like a lot of like younger women if they if they're really good runners, they probably smoke me dude. Right here I see women that run past me. They look like they have bigger legs than me and they're stronger than me. And they run very well. Delicious. I'm literally just running to uh, just going off a straight willpower, just pushing myself, you know. So I enjoy it. First raindrop, second.
Wow. That wind is strong. Insane. Thank God I got some windshield wipers. My whole um my whole run it was mostly blue skies. It was like a circle. Like it was perfect the area I was running in. It was mostly blue skies. But you could see surrounding was the dark clouds. <clears throat> and there's some dark clouds coming over. But even behind those dark clouds, it looks like blue, so. I don't know. Right now, Augusta, some very strong wind came by. Bye sandwich. Sometimes when I'm running, or since I've been recently running, I imagine myself, <coughs> I imagine our ancestors, you know, humans back then, running, you know, running out in the open field and hunting, you know? That had no six packs or no muscles were all big. They were butt naked, all they had was like, Underwear made out of string, pieces of tree, leaves, running for your food, talking. Maybe all this gangbanging stuff and murder. Maybe just the makeup of humans, man. Territorial. Mm. I ain't speaking for everybody. I'm just saying in general the existence of these certain things. I seen this thing. The kid got bad grades, so he strangled his mom. That's crazy. This is some insane things that are happening to these children because of social media. The kid probably ungrateful as hell. Crazy. God bless that mother and may 
God forgive that son. Either he's really insane or he's he's gonna realize later what the hell he did. I'm curious. But um because it's it's like a cold day. I just got done with my 10 mile run, like I don't know. I don't have anybody in my life to share this with, but except like Instagram, I put on Instagram. I, you know, I make this video for YouTube, but other than that, I have nobody like, I have no, like, I'm not going, I'm going home just to be like by myself, you know? I'm not going home to what I had like recently, you know, a couple months ago, my baby mama, you know, I would have, even then I should have appreciated her more, should have cuddled with her. So if you have a girlfriend or you have a boyfriend, cuddle with them. Show affection and hug them. Tell them you love them. Tell them they're beautiful. Tell them they're strong and handsome. And that you're the one, you know, that you want to be with them. Reassure them, you know. Show them, you know. Do something nice for them, you know. Maybe they haven't done anything for you, but just do something for them. It'll make you both feel better and it'll, it'll carry this your relationship on to the next day. And you just do it again do it again you know so appreciate them I will smoke this up thing but yeah you know what I'm saying is legit you know Super, super windy. Super duper windy. It doesn't feel too bad in here, inside the, inside the car. But, um, yeah, so, hug your significant other and you know, appreciate them, you know. Put some sweaters on or something and go for a walk. Um, yeah, the sun decided to show up and then it might be a while. It's gonna get covered again and then there's a lot of clouds far on the horizon. <coughs> like, they look huge. They look like a, it's an explosion or something. But, um, yeah, man, so. Appreciate your significant other. Um, you know, if you guys are arguing, tell them, say you're sorry, you know? Um, be the first to admit that you're sorry and that you, you, you apologize, you know? <laughs> 10 miles and like, who's really, like who admires that? Like, who, who, who will really admire that, you know? Pretty strong right there. Got some pretty strong legs. It's cold out there. It's cold out there, but it's also I need to change my shirt. So oh, I got my shorts right here. I'm gonna change my socks. Gonna have to do a lot of laundry, but if I let this dry, which I'm not sure if it's going to be able to dry by tomorrow, then I'll run with it. Maybe I could just let it dry and run with it on uh, Wednesday. Uh, I'll need a day off one of these weekdays because it's probably gonna rain, so pretty sharp. Oh, afford a day off, man. See, no chest. I don't do push-ups or nothing. I just ate a sandwich, so... Just look how I look. Look, it's super white and super tan.
anyway, uh, I'm gonna probably look up some YouTube and just kick back and maybe um, plot something out. All right, y'all. Peace.